Welcome back. Since 1996, the Lavender in the Village Festival has been supporting local agriculture, arts, and education, and it is the largest lavender festival here in the Southwest. Now, that fest includes 110 vendors of lavender products, fine art, locally crafted wine, beer, and lavender cocktails, plus, of course, live music. So, this morning, we are proud and happy to be joined by the President and Executive Director of the Rio Grande Community Farm, Bruce Milne, and Jamie Wells, telling us more about this wonderful event and uh, all the lavender scents that come with it, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. Um, so let's talk about Lavender in the, uh, Lavender in the Village Festival. Yes, it'll be July 23rd from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Harnett Park in the village of Los Ranchos. Like you said, it's been going on since 1996. There will be three stages. One will have music. One will be uh, discussions on regenerative agriculture. Right. And a third will be um, culinary dis uh, demonstrations. They're very um, cool. There are some free kids event. There's a kids center that has um, art and crafts activities for the kids that is uh, sponsored by the um, Explora Science Museum. There will be um, yoga in the morning. Oh, wow. And um, then throughout the day, there is uh, ceramic painting classes going on. And I think you kind of have a craft to where somebody can come in the morning and just not leave, period, all day. I mean, mm -hmm. you can start out with the yoga, burn off whatever calories you're going to burn off. Maybe put a few more on responsibly with a little bit of beer. But uh, it, it's from start to finish. I mean, this is why it's one of the biggest here in the Southwest. Uh, you know, yeah. Bruce, let's, let's talk about some of the vendors you guys have. Um, well, there's going to be lavender, lavender, and la <laughs> did I say lavender? Do you guys have lavender? Yeah, no. we have some. <laughs> uh, all kinds of homemade artisanal products that are available through over 120 vendors, I believe. Yeah, right now. Wow. Yeah, and uh, we really favor the local scene, you know, local production and, and helping small businesses like that. This is incredible. And again, you know, this is already, what, the 27th, 28th year that, uh, since its inception. Of course, growing over that time. But let's, right. Let's talk about um, you know the fundraising event side of this. Mm. So um, it's a fundraiser for the Rio Grande Community Farm, which is a farm on Los Poblanos Fields open space, and we have over a hundred community garden roll holders, thirty-eight micro farmers that have a quarter acre to an acre plots. Uh, many of them sell at the local farmers markets and we have two farm incubator programs. One is Trace Hermanas Farms, which is a refugee agriculture partnership program. And the other is Mountain Dojo Celestial Farms, which is, um, has neurodivergent young adults. Very cool, very cool. We are running a little short here on time. Real quick here, Bruce, uh, do we need tickets? Yes, you need okay. uh, tickets, and they're available online through lavenderinthevillage.org. All right. Thank you both so much for joining us. We appreciate it. All right. Thank yep. you so much. Thanks, David. For a full recap, we'll have it later on this morning at Always On, krqb.com. Stay with us.